Hey y'all and welcome back to the top three of the week here with the Diva Files buzz section. I am one of your writers, Ariane, and today y'all we have three hot topics to talk about and this first one is really, really, really hot. So if y'all didn't hear, Lil Nas X released his song and his music video for Montero better known as call me by your name and like i said the music video was very very hot so apparently lil nas x's real name is montero and in the music video you see kind of like the what do they call it like the the fall of mankind so when eve like took a bite of the apple like it was kind of that story but like lil nas x version so he was dressed up as eve and like either Eve was seducing Satan or Satan was seducing her, but Satan was in the form of the serpent. And then everything changed and he was like dressed up like almost like a demonic character. And he was like swinging on the pole and then he was seducing the devil later. And then he killed the devil and took like his, his devil horns. It was just a lot going on, but we're not really here to talk about the music video so much. We're going to talk about like what people were saying about the music video. And, you know, I think this is actually really common for Lil Nas X. He gets a lot of love, but at the same time, he also gets a lot of hate. There are a lot of people that didn't like his music video. And I think people are still trying to embrace Lil Nas X. And I feel really bad that he, you know, still deals with a lot of hate and a lot of negative comments and tox toxic comments. But I think Lil Nas X appears to take it all very well. He makes a whole bunch of jokes. And again, that's one of the things I love about Lil Nas X. And my opinion is, it was a music video. He was expressing himself creatively, whether or not you agree with his decisions. You know what I mean? You don't necessarily have to like drag him on social media for it. I thought the video was very entertaining. I thought it was actually hilarious, very creative. And... That's all I really have to say about that. I think our culture nowadays, we're very, um, how do I say this? Very outspoken and we can be very mean sometimes. I definitely believe that everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but I think we should also be very kind to people because you don't know what the words you're saying. You don't know how that'll affect other people. So Lil Nas X's music video, if you haven't go seen it, definitely go see it. It's very entertaining, like I said earlier. All right, the next topic of the week. So in my last video, I talked about Queen Addison Ray, And Addison surprised all of us by dropping a song in a music video. And I already knew that Addison was going to make a song. I follow a couple celebrity tea pages and it was leaked a couple weeks or months ago. But I was fairly surprised with the song. Now, the lyrics are quite basic. Yes, they are. But I think Addison has potential. I think with some more training and maybe like a better song. I thought the lyrics were kind of basic, but a better song. I think she will definitely blow up. And I think she's actually a really good performer. Now the choreography moves, we could talk about that another time. That was kind of, you know, not really where it needed to be. But I don't think that's on her. I think that's on whoever they hired to be like the director and choreographer. But... Again, she's also getting a whole lot of hate on her music career and her music video. People are saying, oh, TikTokers should just stick to TikTok, blah, 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 blah. But in my personal opinion, I say, hey, if, if she wants to go to the bag, if she wants to chase after the bag, go for it. Like, I'm not going to ever discourage somebody from getting to the money. And she definitely is doing that <laughs> and I'm not mad whatsoever. <laughs> I think TikTokers just in general tend to get a lot of hate and I'm sure that's like really really frustrating for them but I mean <laughs> it's it's sad. Back on topic. Addison Ray apparently is going to pursue this music career and it's going to be interesting to see where it goes. I think, again, with some fine-tuning, she can really get there. And again, I think you should definitely check out the music video on the song. It's very, very catchy. Before I was recording this video, I was singing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got to start supporting people in their different endeavors. And if you don't like the person, guess what? You don't have to follow them on social media or listen to their music. You can, like, block them and <laughs> just go along about your day. 
Okay, and last but certainly not least, this past week was Nike Air Max Day. Now, if you live under a rock, you probably haven't heard of the Air Maxes, but they're honestly probably one of the most popular shoes, I would say, of today. They're... Some of them are affordable, but they're definitely very trendy shoes. They have some crazy prints like cheetah prints. They have some reflective ones. They have all different types of colors. And they also have various styles. So the first pair of Air Maxes were released in like 1987. And you know, they're a basic pair of Air Maxes. And of course they were called Air Max One. And then as time has progressed, they had the Air Max 90, the Air Max 95, Air Max 97, then they came out with the Nike Air Max, like the Vapor Maxes, and then the Air Max 270s. And most recently in 2019, they came out with the Air Max 2090s. I think based off of what I've seen, I would say the Air Max 97s are the most popular. They have a very like futuristic feel for the shoe. They are fairly expensive compared to other basic gym shoes. I mean, they're like $190 minimum usually, but very, very trendy. And I thought it was really cool. They actually released a new pair of Air Maxes for Air Max Day, and they're called Bacon. <laughs> That's the name of the Air Maxes, Air Max Bacon. And they have like the colors of bacon. So it's like a deep, like dark burgundy, a light pink, more of a bright pink, a white and a brown. Really, really nice color wave. And Nike is, is doing their thing per usual. But yeah, those are the top three topics of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, definitely go listen to Addison Ray's song, Obsessed and watch your music video and support Lil Nas X with his song Montero, aka Call Me By Your Name. I think that's it. Again, it was Arian. I'm one of the writers for the Buzz section of the Diva Files, and I will talk with you guys in a couple weeks about three more hot topics of the week. <laughs>